Hi friends, welcome to story time. If you haven't been here before, my name is Miss Lisa and I get to do story times at Worthington Park Library. But for right now, I'm just doing it right ever, wherever you're watching this, okay? All right, so let's see. We are going to talk about a big idea that's hard. It's an easy idea to understand. It's a very hard idea to do. It's not like last week when we were talking about how the globe rotates on its axis and travels around the sun and causes seasons. This week is an easy idea, but it's really hard to live out every day. So I thought that maybe, have you been around the same people a lot? Yeah, who have you been around? I've been with my kids a lot of the time and I love getting to spend more time with them and we have had so much fun. But also, we have to remember this big idea a lot. And this big idea today is kindness. We're gonna be talking about kindness and ways that you can show kindness to the people who you are around a lot right now. And maybe even some people that you don't see very often. All right, so we're gonna start with a story. It's an elephant and piggy book. You know I love them. And they are by Mo Willems. Um, and it's from Hyperion. So this one's the one we're gonna read today. Have you read this one before? I love it. It's Should I Share My Ice Cream? And there's a few things I want you to know about elephant and piggy, okay? First of all, they are very good friends to each other. They love each other a lot, which is why I read their books. And they're pretty funny. But I really need you to know that Elephant and Piggy are super dramatic. What does that mean? It means they have really big reactions to things that maybe aren't super, super big. And if you have reactions just like they do, you might end up in trouble. And I don't want that to happen. So I wanted to make sure I told you that even though I love Elephant and Piggy, maybe you don't react to problems the way that they do. Okay? All right. The other thing that you need to know is that when Piggy is talking, the words are going to be in pink. And when Gerald is talking, which is most of this book, the words will be in gray. Um, Gerald is also called Elephant. So it's Elephant Gerald. All right. Are you ready? My kids love looking for the pigeon. Have you ever looked for the pigeon? Yeah. Ready? Ice cream. Get your cold ice cream on a hot day. Oh boy, ice cream. One ice cream, please. Here you go. Do you see who's selling the ice cream? I love that joke. It's a penguin. I know. Oh boy, oh boy, I love ice cream. Do you love ice cream? Do you have a favorite flavor? Oh, look at his. What does he have? What flavor do you think it is? Hmm, it's green, isn't it? So what flavor could that be? That could be, oh, one time I had a friend say just pistachio, which I thought was interesting. It could also be mint or maybe lime or something. I don't know. Ready? Oh, wait! Piggy loves ice cream too. Piggy is my best friend. Should I share my ice cream with her? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it might not be a safe idea germ-wise, huh? Yeah, but if it's somebody who lives in your house, you're probably okay to share. Should I share my awesome, yummy, sweet, super great, tasty, nice, cool ice cream? What did it turn into? What does that whole thing look like? Oh, it looks like an ice cream cone. Isn't that so silly? Hmm. Oh, maybe Piggy does not like this flavor. Sharing a flavor Piggy does not like would be wrong. I will eat the ice cream. Wait, Piggy will like this flavor. It is very yummy. I will share my ice cream. It will not be easy. Oh, look, he's sweating because it sounds so hard to do. Oh. Hey, Piggy is not here. Piggy does not know I have ice cream. Uh-oh, 
What does Gerald's face look like in this part? What do you think? He looks like he's being sneaky, doesn't he? I think he knows that's not the nicest choice. I will eat the ice cream! Where is Peggy? Oh, what do you see happening? Mm. What if she is sad somewhere? Oh, look, now we're in his imagination. And there's Piggy looking sad. I must find her! When I do, I will say, would you like some of my ice cream? Then she will say, thank you, that would cheer me up. That's not actually Piggy's voice. That's just Piggy's voice in Elephant's head. Then I will give her my ice cream to share. Mm. Then my best friend will be happy. Oh, look at them both so happy. I will do it. I will share my ice cream. What happened to his ice cream? No. Poor Gerald. Ready? I told you. Dramatic, didn't I? Ready? No! You'd be surprised if my kids don't go running in now. <laughs> All right, ready? Now Piggy cannot have any of my ice cream. Now I cannot have any of my ice cream. I blew it. Oh, Gerald's feeling really bad for himself now, isn't he? Oh, he's looking all sad. And then what do you see? Who's coming around? look sad. Would you like some of my ice cream? Oh, thank you. That would cheer me up. Wait a minute. Who offered the ice cream? Yum. Mm, what flavor do you think that one is? Hmm? I think so too. Oh, look at Elephant. He says, that was not my plan. Oh, well, this works too. Such good friends, aren't they? All right, do you want to try to find Pigeon in the back? Do you see Pigeon? This is a super sneaky one. Where's Pigeon? Do you see him? It's just his head. All right, you did a great job with that story. I know Elephant and Piggy books are a little bit long, but I love them because they're one of the earliest books that you can start to read on your own, too. Mo Willems does a really great job of using words that you can figure out by sounding them out with the letters. All right. All right. You did a great job with that story, friends. Now we're going to do a song that involves moving our fingers a little bit. Are you ready? We're going to start with them behind our backs. Where'd they go? And... We're going to start with coming out from the left. I'm going to do the opposite so you and I will be on the same side. Are you ready? All right. One from the left and one from the right. Met in the middle and danced all night. They made up a dance called whoop-de-doo. Just like you're saying whoop-de-doo. Good job. Then they said goodbye and walked away. Those two. Good job. This is a Jim Gill song. We're going to keep going with, we just did one. Now we're going to do two from the left and two from the right. Met in the middle and danced all night. They made up a dance called Snips Galore, just like scissors. Good job. Then they said goodbye and walked away. Those four. All right, so now we're going to do one, two, three from the left and three from the right. They met in the middle and danced all night. Good job. They made up a dance called Finger Mix. Then put them together. Good job. Then they said goodbye and walked away. Those six. Good job. One, two, three, four from the left. And four from the right, they met in the middle and danced all night. They made up a dance called 
bend and straight. Keep doing that. Then they said goodbye and walked away. How many? Those eight. Good job. Oh, we've done one, two, three, four. What's going to be next? Five from the left and five from the right. They met in the middle and danced all night. They made up a dance called clap and clap and clap and clap again. Then they said goodbye and walked away. Those 10. Good job. We got all 10 of our fingers in on that one. All right. Thank you to Mr. Gill for letting us use his music. He said we can use it however we want in story times, which was so nice. All right, we're going to do another story. This one is called The Cow Loves Cookies, and it's by Karma Wilson. She was one of the first authors to say that we could read any of her books. All right, are you ready? Oh, I love this one. Whenever a farmer feeds the horse, he feeds the horsey hay, of course. The horse just loves to nibble hay. He eats it every single day. But the cow loves cookies. Farmer knows what chickens need. He always gives them chicken feed. They scratch and cluck and peck all day. They love their feed. The horse loves hay. But the cow loves, what does he love? Cookies. The farmer feeds the geese each morn. He always gives them sweet cracked corn. They honk for joy and flap their wings. They love the corn, corn the farmer brings. Give those chickens chicken feed. Hay for horses, yes indeed. Corn for geese, they love it so. But when it comes to cows, we know that the cow loves cookies. When farmer feeds the hogs their slop, they love to eat that gooey glop. They oink and snort, they grunt with glee, they eat like pigs, it seems to me. Of course we know the horse loves hay, and chickens love their feed each day. Geese love corn as all geese should, the pigs think slop is mighty good. But cow would never eat that stuff, you couldn't pay the cow enough, because the cow loves cookies. Farmer's dog just loves to eat when farmer gives him doggy treats. He gulps and gobbles with delight. He savors every meaty bite. Hay is what the horse he needs. The chickens all eat chicken feed. The geese munch corn. It tastes so fine. The hogs think slop is just divine. The dog adores his doggy treats. So why does cow love cookies? Did we miss something? Oh, but cow would rather eat things sweet. That's the rhyme I was missing. So let's see. She and Farmer made a deal, and every day they share a meal. Farmer packs a picnic lunch, and when the two sit down to munch, he takes cookies from a tin, and Cow gives milk to dunk them in. Do you like milk and cookies? That sounds yummy. Yum, says Farmer. Cow says, moo. Cow is happy. Farmer, too. They both love milk and cookies. And then it says, but the duck loves quackers. All right. Did you like the cow loves cookies? That's a fun one, isn't it? I was thinking about a song that has a farmer in it. Can you think of what song I might be thinking of? What about Old MacDonald? Ready? Do you know? Let's do it with the cow first. Ready? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O, with a moo-moo here and a moo-moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo-moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Good job. What other animals should we have on the farm? What about, they talked about pigs. Let's do the pigs, ready? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had some pigs, E-I-E-I-O, with a here and a there, 
here, there, everywhere. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. I just like to show off my awesome pig noise. All right, grown-ups, what's sometimes fun is to think of animals that wouldn't be on a farm and put them in there and see what happens. See what your kids can come up with. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to do one last story. This one is about sharing, just like the Cal Loves Cookies was about sharing, and just like our ice cream book was about sharing. Are you ready? This one is called Blocks, and it is from Candlewick Press, and it's I by Irene Dixon. Are you ready? Blocks. Ruby has, what color blocks? Red blocks. Ruby builds with her red blocks. Benji has blue blocks. Benji builds with his blue blocks. That is a tricky sentence to say. Mm -hmm. Benji takes one of Ruby's red blocks. How does Ruby look like she's feeling about that? What do you think? Ruby wants her red block back. Mine, says Ruby. Mine, says Benji. Oh no, crash. Oh dear. Uh-oh. They ruined both of their things, didn't they? Now, Benji has blue and red blocks, and Ruby has red and blue blocks. Ruby and Benji build with the red and blue blocks together. Look at how much bigger it can be when they build together. Because now they have a lot more blocks, don't they? <gasps> Guy has green blocks. What do you think is going to happen? What should they do? <gasps> Look at that. I think they decided to build together. What do you think? All right. That was blocks. Very nice job. All right. I was thinking about ways that we can put what we're learning today into practice. One of the obvious ways is that we can share our toys with someone else. So you can share with your brothers and sisters or your moms and dads or your puppies or your kitties or whoever's around you. Okay. All right. So that'll be one of the things you can work on is trying to make sure that you are sharing what you have with the people around you. I was also thinking it might be nice to make cards for some people. Uh, you can make cards for the people in your house or you can make cards and deliver them to your neighbors or things like that. I also thought it would be really nice and very kind to make a picture for someone who takes care of you. So a lot of us, we can't make our own meals all the time. We sometimes need a little bit of help getting dressed or getting ready for the day. So make a card for the person who does that for you. I bet they'll really appreciate it or draw a picture for them. The other thing I was thinking that you could do is that when you go for a walk, you could write a nice note on your neighbor's driveways with some chalk that'll wash off easily. So you can write or draw a pretty picture for your friends as you walk around. That's one of the other things I was thinking of. Oh, I also thought since we were reading that cow loves cookies, maybe you and the grown up could bake some cookies together. That would be lots of fun. And did you know that when we're baking together, we're working on a lot of our math skills and our direction following, our listening skills. Yeah, and we're starting to work on our reading because we're following the directions. There's a lot of great skills involved in baking something together. So you can work on baking something together with your grown up if they have time. I also thought it might be nice to make a list of ways that you can show kindness along with your grown up. So if you can think of the ideas and then your grown-up can write them down or you could start to sound them out and write them down, that would be fantastic because I want to hear what you can think of for being kind. Okay, well, I think that's all I have today. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. And I had so many great books about kindness that guess what we're going to talk about next week? Kindness again. It's a big idea. We have to work on it a lot. All right, I hope you're being kind to each other. 
and I look forward to getting to see you soon. Thank you for watching Storytime. Take care.